So let's uh, chat a little bit about of, uh, of your, your generation and while you were growing up, um, what your sort of experiences of, of school, school was like, how, how schooling was for you. I was born, firstly I was born in 1968, that was 43 years, 44 years ago. Uh, I started schooling, at, well, I think it was 1979, you know, no, 79, 76, but 79 I was doing uh, standard two, that is called today, it's grade four. Um, it, it, was, it was hard for me because then, you know, when, when I grew up, you know, my father was like working, uh, um, on the factories and then my mother, mother was a domestic worker, you know. Then you would like go to school without money to eat. You just eat in the morning, papa, and then you just eat at two o'clock when you finish schooling. During the school, I mean, you will like have no money to, to eat. So it was very, 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 very hard for me. But yeah, I, 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 I am where I am today, but uh, in, the, in those, conditions you know you know in getting to arts then i mean I, I didn't even know there's something like uh art you know then because like you'd go to school and you'll just sing in the choir sing in the church choir that's it i mean the local choirs you know where you go and sing because i mean singing it's my thing i like singing i mean like anything you know it was hard it was very 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 hard i mean you know i i only i only uh um reach stage where where like i have to sing opera in 1994 you know you understand in south africa in 1994 that's when we started voting you know though that's when i came to 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 to, to understand that like I can be one of the opera singers of South Africa. It was hard before. I mean, you wouldn't, even myself, like for instance, I didn't even know uh, a, a Pavarotti that was singing opera. You know, I would just hear, hear that, oh, this is Pavarotti, oh, this is, is singing opera, what is that? You know, and then until I came to, to Cape Town and studied the opera in 1994, you know, so that's when I realized that there is something like opera arts. That's when I started. Um, I didn't have white friends when I was growing up. It's, it's only 1994 that I, I had friends of, of white people, you know, because like, you know, I'm from the township where you'll find, you'll find only the black people that are staying here and they are, they are all uh, are speaking the same language. That is because I'm a Kosa. You would even find another like language like Sutu, Zulu, Zulu. No, it's only the Kosas that were staying in Eastern Cape in Port Elizabeth. So, uh, you only meet white people when you take a bus to to town. That's when you you will find the uh, white people. So, I mean, in the type ship, township, there there were no white people. So, it, it, I didn't have them until 1994. You know, in South Africa, we have nine official languages, and uh, the only language that I grew up speaking was Kosa, as I am a Kosa and a little bit of English at school. Because, you know, then you'd find out that um, everything is being taught by, 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 uh, by, by Africans and, and, and English and Kosa somewhere, somehow. But the, dom the, dominant, the dominant one then was Africans, you know. Uh, I, I remember, I remember we, we, we stood up in, in 1980, I was doing standard three, that is um, grade five. You know, when, we, when we, I was one of those people that were saying, you know, down with the, this Africans language because for us as black people is very, very, very difficult. You know, how about if we like, we, 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 we do these things in English and then a little bit of course because it's my language, you know, but then I was one of, of those people that were like toy toying, going to the street and toy 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 toying uh, of the, but that, it's, that it's, it texted me because in 1980, we didn't write the, the, the final exam. In 1981, we didn't write the final exam. It's, we only came back in 1982. We, we do the same standards again. And then it was only for two years. 1990, 1998, 1984, we didn't um, write the, the final exam for three years. From 84, 85, 86, I, I did the same standards. You know? And then we came back in 1987. 
when I was doing, uh, then I think I was doing standard seven then. So it affected me because when, when I came, when I came to, uh, to Cape Town, you know, here you'll find people that are speaking Zulu, those who are not speaking Kosa, those who are not speaking English, those who are speaking Africans. I tried. I, you know, to, to, to adapt myself to all of these languages. It's hard. It's, I'm, still, I'm still learning them also because we ha in opera you, you have to, to learn all the languages. In fact, you know, like for instance, there's Italian, there's uh, Germany, there's uh, a, a, a French on top of those nine languages of South Africa. So I, it's a challenging, it's a challenging, it's, but I'm trying my best, you know. For us on stage, it, uh, there's nothing difficult according to the two productions that we're doing because it, 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 it's the history of, of South Africa. For me, it, 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 that's where I'm from. You know, most of the time, it's something, something that we do on stage. It's something that happened to me before. So it, it's not the question of like. Uh, Someone else is just telling me that, hey, do you still remember in 1998 or 1994 when Mandela was released in, in, in prison? So, like, I was there. It's not the question of that someone else is telling me what to do, but I was there. I'm experiencing. It's not at all in, I mean, to those that are, like, old as, my, as me, you know.